welcome to programming knowledge so i again welcome you all to programming knowledge so in this today's tutorial we are going to cover about graph theory a very important topic uh, it's very if you get the basic knowledge about graphs what are graphs how we represent them and what are the difference between the theory and the representation as well as we will differentiate between the weighted and unweighted graph directed and undirected graph and agency list versus agency matrix if you get your basic facts and graph theory then it's very easy to implement and visualize them while programming so we are let's get started with the graph theory on the left side of my screen you can see a graph so a graph is basically a, a basically a data structure which has vertices and edges so basically the vertices can be also be known as a vertex can also be called as a node and an edge edge can be also called as a connection so vertex and edge or either nodes or connection so basically here you can see that i have a graph in which here you can see that this is a node this is a node okay so here you can see that this uh, uh, data structure is a node uh, so you can see that this is a node and this is a connection so from a to b like a is a node as well as b is a node and here i have a connection between them so this is how a graph works and in the same way here you can see it is uh, like f is also a node g d so we have a node d with node g and a connection between them so here you can then you can see that we have connection between the two nodes and now what we can do uh, basically with the term node we also refer to a tree so in graph theory trees are also like graph but there is a difference between a tree and a graph like that uh, a graph can have a cycle but a tree doesn't have a cycle so in in simple terms i if i uh, on the right i will see that trees basically trees are undirected undirected and uh, they uh, and they are acyclic and acyclic this means uh, they don't have a cycle uh, here it might be a possibility so we will also cover this so in uh, like uh, in right now you can see that i have a graph so let's talk about weighted and unweighted graph so uh, weighted and unweighted graph so if i have a weight a weight of uh, 5 on this so from a, uh, you can say like from going from node a to node b so it would have a cost of 5 like here i can have a cost of 2 so from node going to node a to f it i would have a cost of 2 so this has a weight so earlier uh, now uh, what about directed and undirected graph right now this is an undirected graph it doesn't have a uh, uh, but now i can make this graph directed uh, like if i use this an arrow symbol like yes from c to f i have an arrow like from c to d i have an arrow so if i represent it by an arrow so i can give a direction to it so this is a difference between a uh, uh, directed and undirected graph uh, unweighted and unweighted graph so in the trees i said that it is an undirected graph because you can traverse from the like left child to parent parent to right child left child right uh, right child then parent so th th you can have different types of traversal on the basis of uh, order of the uh, order of the nodes so that are uh, pre order traversal pre order post order and in order traversal so this is all about trees so i just wanted to have a clear vision but in the graphs you have a different types of traversal like graph uh, uh, graph i would say for graphs you ha can have uh, i said uh, weighted and undirected uh, weighted and unweighted graph directed and undirected graph and agency list was the agency matrix representation so for graph you have agency list versus uh, you have th these things plus uh, for graph you have two types of traversal uh, dfs depth first search and breadth first search bfs so bfs in trees also also known as level order traversal level order is also bfs okay so these are the basic differences between trees and graphs we have a clear distinction we would cover uh, trees also in the upcoming tutorial uh, so now what we can represent the graph so how we can represent the graph so this, these are very simple uh, the first is agency matrix representation so let me do one thing i have uh, how many nodes i have a b c d e f g so what i can do I can create a matrix A, B, C, D, E, F, and then A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yes, and in the same way, I can create a vertical rows uh, uh, like A, B, 
C D E then F then G so if I want to represent an edge between A, A to F okay so let, let me represent an edge from A to C so what I can do since this is an uh, uh, I'll also give a difference between since A to C you can do put here A to C then you can put uh, either one like if the ed edge exists and simply since this is an undirected graph you can see a uh, that it is an uh, undirected so it will also an uh, edge from c to a but uh, like in the case of a to uh, you can say like let me do this uh, uh, a to b is a directed so i will also only have a to b uh, as a uh, but since it has a weight of 5 so in terms of weighted graph you can put the weight here so like uh, uh, so if it has a direction so like A to C and C to A are same thing because A to C and C to A are undirected. But A to B is a directed plus it has a weight of 5. So I have put A to B only and with a weight of 5. So this is how you can represent using matrix representation. So this is a quite representation. Another representation we can have is that of agency list. So agency list uh, in which we, we can create agency list in this A has a pay, uh, has all the nodes which are connected to it that are b f c okay and for like uh, b you don't have a, uh, you uh, like uh, now you need to check whether it is a directed or undirected so we will plan accordingly so just for an example i would give the representation of c c has all the neighbors attached to it that is a d and f so yeah from a you can go to b F and C and from C you can go to A, D, F as well as E also. So A, F, D, E. So we will also add another neighbor E. So this is agency list. So there is a quite difference between the agency matrix and the agency list. The difference between them is like for agency matrix you have a representation of you make a matrix of O of B square. So for agency matrix the space complexity space space taken is space complexity is big O of V square and for agency list uh, it is big O of V plus E because uh, here you uh, consider about vertices then again you here you consider about edges so agency list is O of V plus E but if you want to see in matrix time complexity complexity to check if there exists a edge so that could be tell it can be taken in o of 1 because simply you have to check the index of uh, a to c and uh, 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 a to c a of a uh, matrix of a c or matrix of c a or you can represent the index in i and j so this is how you take the indices so and for the like agency list representation uh, you have to take the time complexity time complexity to check if exists if there exists the edge is basically you need to take about uh, you need to take about o of v or simply uh, an average case you can see o of neighbors but uh, we are uh, like you can see o of neighbors but uh, in worst case we assume a scenario that uh, for all the vertices uh, for that like if there is a C is a vertex here that all the nodes except C are the neighbors of it so by worst case complexity we, we determine that O of V minus 1 would be the case but we take O of big O notation so minus 1 as a constant would be ignored because all the vertices uh, would be neighbor of that particular vertex so this is how you deal with graph theory uh, so basically just to cover the, uh, I'll uh, quickly tell you that uh, that uh, this is how we deal with the graph theory and we have two types of traversal in graphs one is dfs and bfs for dfs the is a recurs recursive traversal recursive traversal bfs is iterative iterative traversal and uh, so since dfs is a recursive traversal so uh, we use stack as a data structure uh, and in this we use Q as a data structure uh, and the, what's the difference just the difference is like here we use stack as a data structure here we use Q as a data structure 
so that is a recursive process and this one is iterative process so this gives us a few uh, uh, these are the two traversal depth of search and breadth of search and there's a various algorithms on the graphs as well shortest path so we'll also co cover those algorithm so uh, uh, so uh, thank you guys i'll catch you in the next tutorial with the implementation so i'll catch you in the next tutorial so thank you guys thank you so much